Hey, how's it going? I'm Kenton Duty, and you're watching Celebrity Hotspot. Hi, I'm Jenna from Celebrity Hotspot, and today I'm here with Kenton Duty. So, what brings you here to the screening today? What's that? What brings you here to the screening today? The screening itself. I'm, I'm that guy, by the way. Hi. Uh, I'm here for contests. Yeah, I'm, I'm ex I'm, I've been chomping at the bit to watch this thing for about a year since we filmed it. I think we filmed it actually right around this time last year is when we were filming, so... It, I, we've all been just waiting and waiting and waiting and it, we're all, I think, really excited to be here. So can you tell us about your character? Matt is a jerk when you start off. I'm just gonna put that out there because I didn't like, I didn't like him personally. I do, I like Matt because I played Matt, but it's like, like watching Matt, I'm like, oh, you're such a jerk. I had a, somebody next to me and they're like, gosh, you are. What's up, me? Uh, anyway, that's my inside the screen story, but I'm, I'm just, he's an all-star swimmer. He has everything going for him, and then, you know, a, an event happens in his life that sort of sets him down the right path, and uh, he sort of learns that, you know, he does like being the nice guy. He doesn't have to be the bully to get what he wants, and it, he really enjoys being there for people. And, and if any, you know, a roller coaster happens again, and another one, and he goes through a lot. He goes through a lot in the story. And I think it's really cool because you get to see him completely make a turnaround and break the surface. So what does this cause mean to you, like anti-bullying? I, well, I was bullied as a little kid um, when I was in elementary. Believe it or not, I was the shortest kid in my class. I know that's hard to believe. But um, yeah, but what what's cool for me is like in this movie, you see that Tommy gets this solid group of friends and they have his back. And then, and for me, that that's the same thing. When I was in elementary school, even though I was getting bullied, I had a solid group of friends that had my back. And there's a scene with Bobby where he's, you know, getting picked on, and we like have this whole day. And that's sort of, and I've I've gone through that type of thing. Not not exactly the exact scenario he went through, but mine was, you know, based on the fact that I had a retainer and glasses, and I had food allergies, and I was small. But my friends, you know, held it out for me, and they made me feel special and made me. And I, my best friend and I were hanging out till you know 2 a.m. last night, and then we both had to get up for work. And I, I flew out. He went to you know teach kids tennis. But it, you know it was worth it because we only got one hour of sleep. But it's that time together and that bond that really just helps you get through life. Priceless. It is priceless, exactly. So do you have any other upcoming projects or your music that we know about? Yeah, my music. Have you guys seen the YouTube video yet? So, so the that lyric video is out. I'm gonna be shooting a music video for that song soon. Breaking the Surface is my song in contest. I'm gonna be shoot. I'm gonna finish the music video for that because I, I started shooting it and then we had the format was wrong, so I need to reshoot some of the stuff. But um, so yeah, a lot of music stuff. I'm in talks with the label and um, every my fans are gonna be the first ones to know. That's great. So do you have any upcoming shows? Uh, I just did some shows in LA. I think I'm gonna be doing some shows maybe around the country pretty soon. Probably opening for some people and. I'm really excited. I've been waiting to, you know, get my music out there for a while, and it's all coming together. Great. So, what was your initial reaction after seeing the movie? I was floored. I, I came in expecting greatness, and I'm, I'm just, I'm giddy, honestly. Can't wait to see it. It's, it's gonna be awesome. So, we know you worked on Shake It Up. What was that like for you? It was fun. I mean, we were like a family, and like, in con the contest family is, you know, just as close, I, I think, as the Shake It Up family. Um, all, all my siblings are going off doing their own thing. Bella's in South Africa right now. Uh, Zendaya is shooting music videos and stuff like that. Hi, I like your suit, bud. Um, and then Rashawn owns a dance studio. And, um, I'm off making music and movies. And I, I mean, it's it's cool because we're all we're all still keeping a little bit of contact and sort of know what each other's doing. And I, I think that's great because I've I've heard a lot of quote unquote horror stories. Of families going off, you know, or families—I mean, like TV families, like going off and then never really hearing from each other until they see each other at a charity event or something. And I'm glad that we have kept that not, you know, within our circle. Like we all kept ourselves pretty tight. Will you be on any more episodes in the future? Or? I, if we have a season four, then maybe I'll go through and make a pop back appearance. But um, right now, I didn't make it back into season three because I was shooting this and I was doing my music and shot another movie uh, for Christmas, but. Uh, I mean, I would love, to, I would love for us to have another season, so that way, you know, I could jump back in and show the fans, hey, still love you, you know, I'm still here, um, back from the old country. But yeah. So, what do you hope your fans take away from this film? That bullying is wrong, um, and that it really is your friends and your family that can get you through it. And friends, 
our really strong bond and you know how people are like oh you know friends aren't forever well I have a friend that is forever so I you know like I can immediately go well that's not true and I think Tommy found that as well in this movie that friends really are his forever because he didn't have any friends at the start and by the end of the movie he's got three super super close friends and that's something that I don't think he or anybody could really trade for the world. That's great. Thank you for speaking with us. Of course. Anytime.